In November, Burlington Electric will ask voters for permission to borrow up to $20 million. The money is expected to help the Queen City meet its goal of net zero energy by the year 2030. ABC 22's Mike Coey is following this story for us tonight. He is live in the newsroom. Well, Lauren, it's been a while since we've reported on this goal, so net zero energy essentially means ending the use of fossil fuels for heating and ground transportation. A decade ago, Burlington became the first U.S. city to derive 100 percent of its electricity from renewable sources. In reality, Burlington Electric derives more than 100 percent. We actually have slightly more uh, renewable power than we need for our customer sales on a given basis, but we have contracts that are expiring, so if you look at our portfolio and we did nothing over a period of, you know, five to ten years, we would start to lose uh, that supply. If voters pass it, the $20 million bond would help the city follow its 2019 net zero energy roadmap. The capacity and reliability of the power grid would both be improved. The bond money could also serve as matching funds for grants, including a federal grant Burlington Electric obtained in August for 200 new electric vehicle charging ports. There might also be an affordability piece. If Burlington Electric makes these same investments and meets its financial projections for next fiscal year with the help of the bond money, they'd likely be looking at pressure to increase rates by about 2% from today's level. If you didn't have the revenue bond and you tried to do all of that stuff and raise the cash you needed through rates, then it would put about 12.8% of rate pressure on your budget to kind of come up with that same amount of cash. The debt would be repaid through Burlington Electric's own revenue, not property taxes. General Manager Darren Springer was asked Thursday if Burlington Electric is operating at a loss. He says their fiscal 2024 audit won't be complete until next month. But our unaudited financials have us at a uh, net income of over a million, um, which is not actually an enormous amount relative to our budget and our needs, but you certainly want it to be positive, you know, relative to that and not negative. Lauren, this is the first of two ballot questions that are about to confront Burlington voters. Question two would change the city charter as it relates to oversight of the Burlington PD. Live in the newsroom tonight, Mike Coey, ABC 22 News. Thanks, Mike. International meetings on the campaign trail.